Hello there, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a main menu in Scratch. So, let's begin. The base project that we're using for this is the quiz game that was the previous tutorial series. So if you want to learn how to make this, you can check it out in the description below. And it's also going to be in the card over here. So, to make a main menu, this is how your game should be already. The game will start when you click on the flag and the game should be ready to play. So that's all you need to have. You just have to have your game starting when you click on the flag. So what we're going to do is we're first going to go to our backdrop and we're going to create the main menu backdrop. So we're going to paint a brand new backdrop. I'll just convert this to vector and I'll make this the color, the color blue. And I'll actually go for a bit of a darker blue okay and then I'll have you'd want the title at the top and I'll call this think fast so make sure that you have uh, a catchy title so here we can just say think fast with an exclamation mark and I'll just choose the pixel text and make make this a bit bigger and then I put this right here um, okay there we go and now that I have the, the backdrop done. I just want to rename this to the main menu. Put this on top. And then what you had as your game backdrop, you can just call this game backdrop. So now that we have this sorted out, you'd want to go to, to your code. And the first thing you would do is say, um, when flag is clicked, this is what we have initially. So in our backdrop, you'd want to say when flag is clicked. So go to events and say when flag is clicked, we want to switch the backdrop to main menu. And after that, we want to go to variables and we're going to create a brand new variable called main menu active. And then we're going to set that to true over here. And that's all we are going to do for our backdrop for now. Now what we want to do is we're going to import two new sprites and the link for these are in the description. It's just a play and a quit button. And we're going to put um, both of them at X zero. And I'm going to rename this to play button and rename this to quit button. Okay, now that we have our two buttons, we're going to move this to negative 120. And this can stay where it is at Y0. Okay, so now that we have our two buttons, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a script for them. We're going to go to first our play button and say when flag is clicked, we want to show our play button and we're going to hide it after we're in the actual game. And we're going to go to control and we're going to wait until and go to set settings and bring in at the end operator, not settings, but operators. And then go to sensing and bring the touching mouse pointer and uh, mouse down. So this is going to detect if we actually pressed on the button. And if the button is pressed on, then we'll go to the if statements and we're going to look if go to operators and look if main menu active equals to true so make sure it's um, spelled the exact same way um, because the the variable is case sensitive so make sure it's the same true we can just disable this here and then we're going to broadcast start game so we're going to broadcast a brand new um, a brand new message and this is going to be called start game and this is what's going to make the rest of the game objects appear and it's going to switch the backdrop. So we're going to say when I receive start game in the in the other sprites and backdrop. So then we're going to say when I receive start game, we're going to we're going to hide the play button. Now we can actually bring this to the quit button as well, but changing one thing. And what we're going to be changing is instead of broadcasting start game, we're going to stop all because we're quitting the game. So if we quit,
and so that happens it stops the it stops the game and if we click play it will just make everything red so what we want now is we want to switch the backdrop to the proper backdrop so if we go to our backdrops right here we can say when flag is clicked we will we'll be in the main menu and set main menu to true and then we'll say when I receive start game then we're going to switch the backdrop to game backdrop and set so we can just duplicate this and change it to false so if your game does have any variables that are showing on the screen like a score a high score or a timer like we have here then you would want to go to the variables and you'd want to hide them when we're in the main menu so you'd hide the score and in our case since our score is this variable here and this is the timer so we'd want to hide the timer and then we'll show the variable score and show the variable timer when we actually start the game so that's what you notice we actually um, show and don't show now as we can notice when you click on the flag we can see that these other things are still showing and um, yeah the game is actually playing while we're in the main menu so in order to stop that we're going to go to our first sprite which is this question sprite go to whichever one is the first sprite for you and then wherever you have when flag is clicked just drop remove that and keep one when flag is clicked block and remove the other one and then we're going to go to events and say replace where you put the flag and replace that with when I receive start game and then go into looks and hide when flag is clicked and show in when I receive start game just put that under any now we have to do that for the rest I'm just going to speed through that And this is the final one we just show when I receive start game and hide when I receive flag now we can see everything is gone and when we click play the game actually starts and then we can actually play the game and answer the question so that's how you add a main menu to your game in scratch when you click on the flag you'll be able to you know click play or quit thank you very much for watching please smash the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next video Goodbye. Mm -hmm.